We're going to see well above average warmth uh, with highs well into the 70s continuing until a cold front comes through. Unfortunately, the front that does come through doesn't look like it has a lot of moisture associated with this. So our rain chances, they still look pretty slim, not only with this front coming through on Wednesday, but another one that comes through later as we head towards the weekend. And we definitely need some rain. We'll also see temperatures. If you're not a fan of the above average warm temperatures, will return to more fall like conditions later in the week. So your News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for bright sunshine. This morning at 8 o'clock, temperatures around 46, and it's another absolutely beautiful afternoon. Lots of sunshine, temperatures around 78. Clear skies this evening, pleasant conditions with temperatures falling back to 70. Clear skies, milder tonight, upper 40s to low 50s, so not as chilly as it has been. And then we'll see those temperatures rebounding, mainly sunny, maybe some few, few high clouds. Very warm, again, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. In your weather and health, pond levels are low, mold levels are moderate along with air quality. UV index is low with a burn time of 45 minutes. And looking outside, our York Sky Cam starting to see a little hint of a glow there. The sun will be making its way up uh, officially at 725 this morning. So another 45, 40 minutes. Temperatures right now, 37 in Lebanon. We have 40 in Lancaster, 43 in Carlisle. Harrisburg's dropped to 43 now, 46 in Chambersburg. And we've had some more, uh, more 30s the last couple of mornings. So you can see it is a little bit milder for some locations uh, this morning. Clear skies all across the state. Really not a whole lot to show you. You can see some clouds up towards the northeast uh, in the New England area. But that's that's about it. Otherwise, you have to head all the way out to Kansas and Nebraska to see showers. And then the Pacific Northwest has some wet weather with the front coming on shore here. But uh, otherwise, much of the country is dealing with dry conditions across the region. And that's courtesy of a strong area of high pressure that's been dominating our weather for the past couple of days. It just doesn't look to move a whole, uh, whole lot. Uh, it'll continue to provide sunshine tomorrow and some warm air as the winds come in from the southwest. On Wednesday, we're still on the mild side, but here comes the front Wednesday night. Doesn't have a lot of moisture with it. It could spit out a sprinkle or a shower, but most of the moisture stays well to the north. Winds will be shifting to the northwest, and that will bring in the cooler, more fall-like feel as we head into the latter part of the week. Six to 10-day precipitation outlook as we uh, get towards uh, the 26th. It still looks like it's going to be below average precipitation for us. So 10-day is dry, and then even beyond, it's looking dry across the area. Temperatures, though, do trend downward towards the low 60s, where we should be for this time of the year, Thursday and Friday, and really into the upcoming weekend. It looks like another front comes through early Saturday, but again, maybe a sprinkle or shower, but that's about it in the morning. The rest of the day is dry. Temperatures start to warm back up uh, next week as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday.